comfortable with doing offense, do offense. If you're You want them to move just a little. I'm loosening up my truck, so whenever I go to hit somebody, I can move easier. Right! Right! We're scrimmaging tonight. We have our four home teams that will all be playing each other throughout the evening. Whoops! roller derby to something like football on skates. Basically you're playing offense and defense at the same time and so the goal is to get your jammer or the person who's wearing a star in their helmet out of the pack. Trying to score points by passing the members of the other team who are simultaneously trying to help their jammer get through to score points while stopping the other jammer. What do I like about roller derby? The aggressiveness of it, it's full contact. I love the intensity of it, and I love the way that um, you can get hit really, really hard. What kind of injuries have you had? Nothing major from skating. I've only had bumps. Before. Probably oh, I just fell and cracked my ankle. I just landed on it wrong, I guess. Everybody asks, you know, like, how are you punching other girls? Like, how can you do that? And we don't do that. We, we make legal hits on people. We're not allowed to use elbows and, and different things like that. Guaranteed, every single one of us out here is asked at some point if it's like WWF or WWE, whatever it is now, um, wrestling. In the old days it was, because it's been around since the 20s, 30s, and like in the 70s and 80s, it became this very kind of over the top, people shoving and pushing and punching each other. It's not like that anymore. How do you guys get the nicknames? We make them up. We try to have this code of conduct where you don't take somebody else's derby name. You can get maybe somewhat close. Most girls, if they get close, will ask for permission. How long have you been doing this? Only four months. We're working on keeping them stable on their skates as well as helping them to stay in the wall, get used to people pushing on them. Once you get injured for your first time, you you kind of get like really scared about that, but you get over it fast. Um, the difference between practice and games is just the games you need to, you know, be perfect. I feel like it's going to be a lot more pressure to perform because uh, right now if I mess up it's kind of like, oh, whatever. I'm kind of afraid that I'll just really go out there and mess it up until my nerves calm down. Security people with rap right over there. Everybody else pick up the track and let's get out of here. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> This is the season opener for the Kansas City Roller Warriors and so that basically means that this is the first bout of many that will happen over the course of the next year. Victory Vixens, Knockout, second game is Dreadnought Dorkies, and Black Eyed Susan. It's my first game. A little bit of butterflies, but I think I'm ready. So you're going to be skating first tonight, or? Yes. I think it's going to be a really exciting night. I think all the fans are going to love everything they're going to see.
They're actually pretty good. I've been watching them a couple times. They're actually getting better than what I remember. having fun watching them score. You're focusing on many things, not just one. You're focusing on helping your blockers. You're focusing on getting through the opposite team's wall. Well, more than four days a week because we're also the ones who are, who are doing all of the work. We have girls who volunteer to do social media, to do bout production. We have girls who just want a good workout and want to meet other women. There are some girls who can come out and, and skate a couple days a week and they're fine with that. And then there are some of us who are highly competitive. scrimmage we found it today so I'm really excited for the rest of the season. It's action packed, it's fun, it's just it's unlike any other sport you've ever seen. And it put myself back in the perspective of failing a lot, learning how to fail and use it to motivate you instead of defeating you. 